I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you some good questions from previous test papers on quadratic functions. The question here is given f of x equals to minus 2 over 3 x minus 1 whole square plus 7 determine inverse of the function state restricted domain of f of x so that the inverse is a function and describe the bottom branch only. So that's the question for you. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now we are given the function f of x equal to minus 2 over 3 x minus 1 whole square plus 7. Now sometimes this fraction creates a problem. So that is why I have taken up this question from previous test paper. Now to find the inverse of the function, we have to swap x and y, right? So we can write this as x equals to minus 2 over 3 y minus 1 whole square plus 7 right so at this stage we actually swapped x and y right so we interchange x with y to find inverse and now we are going to solve for y so we'll take 7 on this side so x minus 7 equals to minus 2 over 3 y minus 1 whole square now we'll divide by 3 over 2 with a negative sign, right? So we get this times negative 3 over 2 equals to y minus 1 whole square. Now we need to square root, right? So we'll square root and then write y minus 1 equals to square root of all this. So that is square root of minus 3 times x minus 7 divided by 2. Let us take all this to the right side to solve further. So what we have here is y minus 1 equal to square root of, uh, there is a mistake here, I will correct it, x minus 7 over 2. Whenever you square root, you have to always do plus and minus. That is very important. Don't forget that. Since, you know, minus 2 square is also 4 and 2 square is also 4 correct so that's what you get and then you can write this as y equals to 1 plus minus square root of minus 3 x minus 7 over 2 square so that becomes the inverse and as you can see we have plus and minus here that means it is not a function right so inverse is not not a function since for the value of x will have two values of y, right? It's just not a function. Now, to make it a function, we have to restrict the domain of the initial function itself. And that is where the second question comes. So, part B here is state restricted domain of f of x so that the inverse is a function and describe the bottom branch only. So, at present, we have here inverse as equal to, I'm not writing x here, 1 plus minus square root of minus 3 over 2 x minus 7 correct that is what we have now as you know the function here is that of a parabola which opens downwards kind of like this correct now the inverse of this will be since it opens downwards inverse of this will open towards the left side correct and uh, let me sketch one here. So we are doing very approximate. I'm not really using a scale here. So it'll be kind of like this. Now here, this is not a function since it fails the vertical line test, right? So, so for the inverse, if I draw a vertical line, it goes through two points. Therefore, it is not a function. We can always make it a function if we restrict the domain of the function itself. Now here, the domain is all real numbers. Now let's look into the second part. It says state restricted domain of f of x so that the inverse is a function and describe the bottom branch only. So bottom branch will mean the minus part. So let me describe the bottom branch only. Now since that is a function, I'm writing f inverse of x equals to 1 minus, right? So and then this will be minus 3 
x minus 7 square root over 2, right? So that is the inverse function which we are describing and what kind of restriction should we make? The domain we have to consider only the left part of it, right? So, so from the vertex, the left side. So that is what we will be considering. In that case, our inverse function will be this lower half, right? So that is going to be the inverse function of the function with restricted domain, right? So that is our function with restricted domain. So from the vertex, we are taking the left side. Vertex is at 1. So we'll say if x is less than, we can include 1 also, 1. In that case, we're looking into the left side of this, right? And you know the range is less than equal to 7 since the parabola opens downwards. Anyway, now when we say describe the bottom half, this is the bottom half of the function. And this point here will be, you know, this point is uh, 1, 7. And when you swap x and y, this point will be 7, 1, correct? 7, 1, and then it kind of decreases, right? So if I write 7 here, then this part within the square root will be 0, you get 1. So that gives you the point here. To find the other points, what we can do is we can take few values of x and, and draw, correct? That's what you can do. But here, our answer is that the inverse with restricted domain, so restricted domain inverse will be f inverse x equals to 1 minus square root of minus 3 over 2 x minus 7 square root. So that is how it should be solved. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.